Hello, this is John Kanopoulos, eye surgeon from uh, Athens, Greece, in New York City, New York. This is our signature technique, LASIK CXL combined. This is the FS200 femtosecond laser, creating a myopic flap of 8.5 millimeter diameter. You can see the perfect flap without any OBL, very well centered. I'm using a disposable LASIK cannula as my single instrument to find the gutter of the flap, prepare the flap, and uh, separate the fine adhesions. Uh, that I like to leave behind in order to secure flap management, tackle the flap, fold it onto itself, here performing the um, eczema ablation with the X500 eczema laser after second rotation was adjusted, and following the completion of the ablation, uh, very carefully placing 0.1% uh, riboflavin solution, very careful not to expose the flap at all, uh, so just on the exposed stromal bed, um, the uh, uh, product uh, uh, Vibex uh, Rapid by Avidro helps very much and to control this process and not have a huge drop uh, of uh, riboflavin uh, contaminate the whole field. You can see special attention uh, taken not to expose the folded flap and uh, once uh, the total exposed uh, surface of the stroma is covered with riboflavin we wait for 60 seconds to uh, for the underlying stroma to soak and then using a dry wexel I'm coming in and I'm drying off all the residual riboflavin present on the surface of the exposed stroma. You can see here, uh, this is quite a meticulous process. And then uh, following that, I will rinse uh, in a fashion similar to uh, the case not requiring uh, cross linking. You can see here. And the whole purpose of this technique, uh, which uh, I should add, we introduced in 2006, first publication in. Uh, uh, are as an uh, abstract in 2009. Rinsing uh, vigorously is uh, not to have the flap absorb riboflavin, but just the underlying stroma or as much as possible. Here I'm using a drop of uh, uh, suspension steroid to delineate my flap gutter and, and help me with centration. I'm using a Johnston applinator to iron uh, the uh, flap onto the underlying stroma. Just the way I would finish any routine lacy case without cross-linking and now I'm ready not using uh, uh, antibiotic yet because uh, it can quench uh, the UV light and now 45 milliwatts fluence for a total of 80 seconds this is the KX1 device a uh, total of 3.6 joules uh, delivered per centimeter square delivered uh, through the intact flap and then finishing with the bandage lens I'll show you a similar case uh, from the uh, same day, we're using uh, Vigamox here as an antibiotic. We are finished. We have finished actually the laser ablation and here you can see another version of uh, spreading the riboflavin solution on the surface. Again, the flap has been folded onto itself in order to avoid the inside part of the flap being exposed. Soaking for 60 seconds and now you can see I'm coming in with a dry uh, wexel in order to remove the residual riboflavin. Copious irrigation. Uh, you can see here how beautifully in this light color iris we can see the significant soaking of the underlying stroma and the fact that uh, there's minimal penetration of riboflavin in the flap and this is the whole purpose and the whole reason we uh, describe this technique is to have the UV light go through the flap and reach the underlying stroma and achieve collagen cross-linking and reinforcement of this young patient, this 26-year-old uh, patient that had 10 doctors might be corrected um, uh, from any future deviation we have extensively published on this as far as the epithelial stability and the uh, uh, refractive and keratometric stability. This is the other eye of the same patient. Again, I'm just spending a few more seconds in uh, trying to illustrate the way the uh, uh, riboflavin solution, this is 0.1% riboflavin solution by Avidro. It's called uh, Vibex Rapid and uh, I am uh, drying it off after the uh, soaking, 60 second soaking is completed. And uh, following that, uh, collagen cross linking will ensue for a total of uh, 80 seconds, 45 milliwatts. I hope you found this presentation interesting. This is John Kanlopoulos signing out. Thank you very much for your attention.